Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the show program with Wizards TV. So, as we've been doing right here, we continue. We continue with of course our C sharp projects, a series of tutorials that we had started. This is our second episode. We're going to see how to perform our crude operations against a data grid view. Of course, uh, with MS, MS Access Microsoft Access database data grid view under ms access database we're going to see how to add update retrieve and of course delete data so for instance i can come right here click retrieve okay if i click retrieve you see the data we have in our database gets retrieved so i can also uh, go ahead if i want to add more data just come type uh, my data right here let me give it a net as our then of course we click add now if you click add successfully inserted we get a notification then of course it gets uh, right here okay so uh, this is what we're going to see what about if I want to add more I can simply come right here Apollo 15 then of course I give it a propellant as chemical then of course I'd give it the destination then of course we come click add successfully inserted our data gets successfully inserted right there i can come add of course more data by clicking uh, add our data gets added okay what about if we want to of course we can clear now if we clear it just clears it but of course this is not affecting the database so we can click retrieve again what of if we want to update okay say you want to update for instance this one instead of calling it as pizza we may want to give it something like this new horizon then of course we have to give it pluto then give it a nuclear as the propellant then we come click update successfully updated so take note of our data the here that has been updated okay no we're updating data in our database access database this is what we're going to do right here let's say i want to update this one to apollo 19 we come click update it's going to update it okay it updates it from our database in fact if we clear and then we retrieve again you can see we have it right here apollo 19 as well as a new horizon this is what we are going to look at of course what about deleting say i want to delete apollo 19 right here i just select it come click it's going to give me it's going to uh, prompt right here give me a warning so are you sure to delete this if i say okay it's going to of course delete it now deleting and then of course refreshes it if i cl clear then to retrieve you can see it no longer exists if i want to delete new horizon as well you can simply come and then of course click it then are you sure all right then it's going to delete our data of course from our data grid view this is it guys this is it this is what we're going to see of course you can make a uh, use of this is just a template a tutorial that you can make use for instance to be regist registration forms or management forms right here we're going to see how to insert select update and then of course delete data let's get started so the first thing of course is to create our access database all right take note right here this is my spacecraft db database of course microsoft access to create a database go to file new okay come choose blank desktop all right here then of course i give it a name all right i give it a name now first choose the folder we're going to store your database so come right here and of course uh you can see right here we have uh, the format okay save as the type now in this case we're going to use this the 2002 to 2003 format right here okay so let's go ahead choose it and then of course click okay once you type the database name it's going of course to create your access database so here is our course these are spacecraft db take note of the path right here then of course you go ahead create a table okay 
So go ahead, add a table to your there, right there. Then of course you can see in your table. For us, we have the ID, which is of course auto-generated. Then S name, spacecraft name, S propellant, spacecraft propellant. And then of course S destination right here. If you can go over, let's go and view the design mode. So the design view right here, you can see auto number, the other one, the ID, it's our primary key. S name, short text, S propellant, short text, and then of course S destination, short text as well. You can see that's the data that of course we have in our database, all right? So go ahead, do that one, create your access database, and then of course take note of the path right here, we're going to be using it. The next step, go ahead, create your Visual Studio project file this is a c -sharp project file new project then of course choose winforms a c -sharp, all right once you have it of course let's come right here in our design view we're going to design our now this of course is a data grid view this of course is our form right here i have three text edit text uh, text boxes all right the name txt propellant txt destination txt we also have the three labels name propellant and destination then of course four buttons add retrieve update delete clear five buttons right so if once we have now as you guys can may have noticed of course this is a metro theme we are using okay to theme our wind forms right so you, you can just continue or if you'd also love to use the metro theme then you'd have to i'm going to leave the link for the tutorial on how to install it in your wind forms it's just going to style your wind forms okay and then maybe add more components but then the components you're using right here they're just the default components that are grid view text boxes and buttons okay so just drag them of course from your toolbox over to your form right here so once we have that one then of course we're going to move over to our source code let's come explore our source code first of course my class given that i'm using the metro theme is of course deriving from the metro form yours of course is going to just derive from the system.windows.forms okay then i'm going to have a couple of declarations and of course initializations right here first we're going to have this constant that we're calling string constring okay this is our connection string so connection string we provide the connection string for access database now provider microsoft rejected oladb 4.0 then data source okay we define the path so the path of your uh database so you can see this is the path of course with using the mdb because we chose the 2002 to 2003 format of access these are constant right here then of course our uh, oladb connection object con equal to new already b connection we pass in the connection string inside of course our already b connection constructor so already b command we are co going to call it right here cmd then already b data adapter we're going to have it right here adapter then data table dt equal to new data table right here okay so we're going to have our already b connection object already b command object OLEDB data adapter object as well as the data table object. So we come to our constructor. The first thing we are going to do, of course, in our constructor, of course, initialize components right there. Uh, then, of course, we come, we define our data grid view properties. Our data grid view is going to have four columns. The first column is header is the ID then the name, then the propellant, then the destination. Those are four columns. Then data grid view, the data dot auto size columns mode equal to data grid view auto size columns mode dot fill. This is going to ensure that our data grid view columns is going to span, of course, at the whole width of the data grid view. Okay, actually the rows are going to span the whole width of the data grid view. So selection mode data grid view under selection mode equal to data grid view to selection mode dot full row select. This is going to ensure that if you select a single cell, it's actually going to select the whole row as opposed to a single select uh, cell. 
so that a grid view with multi select equal to false this is going to disable the multi selection of rows so these are the properties we have them inside our constructor next we need to insert data of course into a database so we're going to define this method a private method we are calling add it's not returning anything it's taking a name the propellant and then the destination okay these values is going to get them from our three text boxes so we come first we're going to have this constant that we're calling the sql this is our sql statement so insert into spacecraft tb s name we saw in our database name s name of course was the name uh, the spacecraft name is propellant these are the columns of course in our data of course in our database all right so s name s propellant s destination then of course values we're going to map the at name to s name then at propellant to s propellant at destination right here to our s destination okay so cmd equal to new oledb command we just instantiate our oledb command object passing in take note our sql statement as well as our oledb connection object that we actually instantiated right here by passing in the connection string of course now constructor so first add parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value at name equal to name name is going to be passed as right here we assign it of course to our at name so at propellant equal to propellant at destination equal to destination all right so we add those parameters of course to our already we command object then we're going to open and of course open our connection and then execute our insert statement so first we're doing it inside the try catch block to catch any errors first we're going to open our connection so con open this is going to open our connection so if cmd dot execute non query is greater than zero so execute non query method is going to return the true number of affected rows as an integer if that's greater than zero of course we successfully affected some rows we've successfully inserted data so we're going to clear our text boxes then message box the show successfully inserted now we're using the verb team string right here which of course is a literal string this is exactly the way our message is going to show then con dot close to close our connection okay we've successfully inserted so we call the retrieve to re retrieve our data to refresh our data so that the user can see the latest changes we catch any exception we show the exception of course in our message box then of course we just ensure that we close our connection because our connection may be raised before calling our con dot close inside our try catch block so does it we just ensure that we close the connection in case of any uh exception so does it that's how we're going to add data what about filling our data grid view well it's a populate method right here that's taking in the id name propellant as well as destination then it adds them of course to our rows so data grid view and the first dot add id name propellant destination so this is are the values we're going to add of course to our rows all right those are the cell values next retrieval of data so retrieval of data our method retrieve our retrieve method is going to retrieve data from our database all right then call the populate method to populate our data so first before we retrieve we're going to ensure that we clear all the rows to avoid duplication okay once we have that one then string sql select everything from spacecraft tb we're going to select everything from our database table okay these are sql statements so cmd equal to new oledb command we pass in our sql connect uh, statement as well as our connection oledb connection object that's going to give us our oledb command object the oledb uh, cmd right here that of course we're going to be using so first is once more inside that try catch block con dot open adapter equal to new oledb adapter we pass in the cmd then of course adapter dot fill we're filling our adapter of course with our data table so 
adapter dot fill with their data okay let's pass in our data table object to our fill method so let's come then loop through that particular data table for each data row row in dt dot rows we're looping through the rows of the data table okay this of course fills of course with our data so we call populate passing in uh, our values our first cell id second cell right here which is the name the third cell propellant the fourth cell destination so we you just populate our it using of course our for each loop then of course we make sure that we close our connection we clear our data table always dt do close that clear if any exception is raised we're going to catch it then make sure we close our connection all right so that's how to retrieve data we're about to update well let's create the method update it's going to take the id of the row that we want to update the name the new name the new propellant and the new destination so first we define our sql statement update spacecraft tb set s name S name this is the spacecraft name of course in our database table okay then we come right here equal to name okay now take note of uh the way we're using right here our apostrophes okay so make sure you get it right we map our s name of course to our name s propellant we map it to propellant please get your sql statements right right so s propellant we're going to map it to propellant destination right here of course we're going to map it to the destination then of course this is an update statement so we need to pass in the id to identify the row that we want update so where id equal to id id this is the integer id that's going to be passed to us for of course as a parameter in our update method so once we have that one next we're going to insertate our oledb command once more so cmd equal to new oledb command we're passing in the, our sql as well as our connection object then once more inside that try catch block con dot open to open connection adapter equal to new oledb data adapter we pass in our cmd all right our oledb command object to our adapter this one right here we're using an object initializer then of course we assign the update command equal to con dot create command then adapter dot update command dot command text equal to sql so this is the sql our sql uh, update uh, statement all right it's going to update us then let's come and execute it if adapter dot update command that execute non query is greater than zero so as we had said earlier on execute non query is going to return the total number of rows that have been affected if of course we successfully updated then of course we've uh, affected one row so that's greater than zero so we clear our text boxes we show a message box at uh, successfully this of course we said is a verbal team string right here then con dot close all right we close our connection we re retrieve just to show the user to refresh our data if any exception we catch it once more we ensure we close the connection what about deleting data well let's come create this delete method is taking the id of the row that we want to delete we're going to delete data row by row so string sql equal delete from spacecrafts tb where id equal to id so it's a delete statement id equal to id now this is an integer okay so take note of uh the way we're using of course our apostrophes right here so this is our double quote this time round without any single quote because we're working with an integer suppose it was a string if you guys have noticed a string we're also going to have a single quote just before our enclosing double quote okay but of course an integer is an integer right here so no we're not going to wrap it in any single quote so does it cmd equal to new or db command we pass in of course our sql as well as our connection object once more we come con dot open all right then 
adapter i call them only db adapter we pass in our cmd then adapter to delete command equal to con create command adapter to delete command dot command text equal to sql okay our sql statement was we'll sign it as a command text a delete command text well we are deleting so we want to give a user a, a prompt for user for confirmation right here so message box the show are you sure to permanently delete this okay delete that is the title then message box dot okay cancel he can erase the goal i choose the okay or cancel then of course message box icon dot warning equal to dialog result dot okay if that's the case if he selected okay then if cmd dot execute non query which is going to return the true number of rows affected is greater than zero successfully deleted con dot close retrieve to refresh our data we catch our exception now clear txt is a helper method to clear our text boxes add button when clicked we're going to call the add method retrieve button we're going to call the retrieve uh, method then update uh, button when called first we're going to get the selected index so data grid view and the selected row so of course for you to update you have to choose the row that you want to update so data grid view and the selected rows that index you get the row that's been selected then it's index so if selected index is not equal to negative one of course if you don't select any row then it's going to be negative one the index of okay if you try to obtain the selected rows index if you haven't selected it shall give you negative one otherwise if that's not the case then of course the user has selected some row so we get the selected data data grid one the selected rows the cells the value dot to string then id converts uh dot to int 32 select right here then of course this one take note we're getting of course the first row the first column which of course is the id we just ensure that it's converted to an integer then we call our update method okay the same thing with the delete first to get our selected index then of course we ensure it's a user has actually selected we call delete clear we're just going to call clear all the rows then clear texts now when we clear right here we're not cl actually clearing from the database so data grid one selection change first we're going to check selected index data grid one dot selected rows we get our selected index we check if it's not equal to negative one okay if this is actually selected then if data grid one dot selected rows dot says dot value is not equal to null right then we're going to get the name propellant and then the destination right here then of course assign them of course to our edit text not to our text boxes right there right so does it we're catching the argument out of range exception does it guys this right here is our stuff okay then of course we run our project let's run our project to see of course our result does it guys the source code is attached below if you have any queries please drop it down in the comment section okay otherwise i uh, take care i'll catch you in the next class